just getting organized and stuff. I'm going to go on a short little hike this morning, so I'm just going to take my small backpack. I have to say I'm really loving the new larger one, which is going to be perfect. I can't wait to show you basically all I did. <laughs> it's not the same name. So this is a Gregory Juno H2O 30 liter <laughs> it's open so you can't even really see it um, but it's just a larger version than my little one which I'm so excited it has like the back mesh panel and it has the hydro um, sleeve so it has the extra opening for additional items um, but I'll give a better review. I wore it yesterday on that hike down to the 49 Palms Trail. Oh, I loved it. So, but I'll give you a better review on it later. But it literally is just a larger version of my fantastic little Sula. Not the same name, but they I think that they're just identical. So I love it. So this is a 16 liter and then this is a 30 liter. I don't know if you can see them anyway. So I'm getting all my stuff packed up and organized. I had some breakfast this morning. I didn't even take a picture. I was so hungry. I just ate it. And then getting all my stuff organized, putting it in here so I can take it over to my car. I'm at the farthest campground from the parking lot. And while this was really nice and very remote, I think being by myself, it is very remote. It probably would have been better if I had someone here. Also, it's the farthest from the restroom. So when nature called in the middle of the night, <laughs> I watered the bushes. <laughs> it is what it is. 
Um, and there's also no showers here. So I am kind of ready to go after a couple days because I need a shower. I've done like bathing with my wipes and like cleaning up every day, but I still feel like I need something more. So the tent worked out really great. I loved it. I'm going to go back to the other campground that Letty and I were at a few years ago, which is the KOA campground in Palm Springs. So it's about an hour from here, but I still want to go do a small hike up to Skull Rock. And I was going to go to Split Split Rock as well, but I don't think I'm going to be able to make it today. Um, I think I'm going to leave that because Letty definitely wants to come and check this place out. I think we could probably make a little bit better um, arrangements now that I kind of know where kind of the spots are where we could be. But this is this is like a really nice because right up next to the rocks and just a lot of climbing. But I mean, almost every site has you're near the rocks, so you can't have a bad site. Oh, and each one is little individualized. So you're not like sitting right on top of one another. Now well, that's kind of nice, but it's time to get packed up. I don't even know what time it is. I think it's like eight, must be like eight, 8.30. And I've been awake since like 3.30. Super duper cold last night. And I'm really worried about it tonight going into Palm Springs because it's supposed to be just as cold, but I think my car will be really close to where my tent is to where I can just get in the car and sleep inside there if I have to. So that'll make it a little bit warmer. Alrighty. Oh, I'm off. I'm off. Well, I mean, I got to pack up, <laughs> lug it to my car. <laughs> I don't know what I would do without that wheel, that wagon. <laughs> oh, all right. It's time to go. I need to brush my teeth. thought I'd take a walk to Skull Rock on the trail from the campground. It's less than two miles round trip, so it shouldn't take me very long. I did bring a stick. Uh, I did bring a trekking pole just in case. And then also my knee brace. But I feel pretty good right now, but I'll put it on if I feel funky. <laughs> it's nice to kind of walk through this back area.
was walking this way, um, I didn't notice this, but on the way back, look at this really cool. This is a huge rock. Uh, <laughs> way up there. <laughs> and, uh, but this, I thought, I don't, it's rock, and it's like, it goes through the whole, goes all along the edge. Let's see if I can get this in here. All right, there you go. It goes all along the edge, all the way to way over there. It's just built in. It's so crazy. All this way. And then, if you look on here, there's a line. And it, they don't look like pebblish, like most of the things. It looks like rectangular, kind of like how these are. And I just wonder if over time, there was a little line, and then it became like that. Very interesting. Anyway super cool all what nature nature provides right so I'm on my way back to the campground and then my stuff's already packed up so I'm ready to go as soon as I get back uh, I have to say then <laughs> I wish it had showers <laughs> I keep saying that if it had showers I think I would have stayed here um, longer probably and uh and that would have been it would have been just better to have showers i don't mind like the porta potties um or if my campsite was just a little closer to the restrooms for at night time and had washrooms like sinks there's no sinks so i used a lot of wet wipes and um i had my dawn i had i had soap and stuff like that but nothing like a good sink even if they had a sink i'd be okay because then i could do like a little sink bath or something but anyway a little difficult <laughs> a little difficult to do that now i think if i had like a camper van with like a shower or something in it anything with a shower <laughs> i would have been thrilled to death all right going along the trail here i'm going back to the campground just making sure I don't get lost but I see the signs so they have the little you know signs that showed information about the various plants and things and that was really fun to be able to read about different types of plants and this is a short little walk so easy not too many steps um, in regards to going up and going down uh, I it still has a lot of gravel so I'd recommend some grip shoes, something with some kind of grip, hiking shoe or something. So, but anyway, yeah, ready to go.